What's going on everybody? It's the Fung Brothers and we are back at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas for another installment of 20 Bites. This time we are here specifically for March Mayhem. Not only are we trying the best dishes from Major Domo, Moon Palace, and Black Tap, we are gonna be having four sips from the top cocktails here at Electra. Let's get it going. We're inside Electra. This is the best place in Vegas to catch March Mayhem in sports in general. I mean, behind us we have a 40 foot screen and over here we have a bar that's equipped with one of the largest Mezcal collections in all of Las Vegas. Let's get on to our first dish. Black Tap brought to Las Vegas a taste of New York City. Modeled after the luncheonettes of Lower Manhattan in the 80s and 90s, Black Tap exudes a hip millennial urban vibe. All right, so our first dish from Black Tap are these Mexican hot sauce wings. We got spicy hot sauce, blue cheese crumble, some scallions drizzled on top, and then of course you have the blue cheese dressing. Blue cheese on blue cheese. Whew, nothing goes better than wings in sports. Oh! I think chicken wings are the number one food to eat while watching sports because there's no bad bite. We'll just pick it up, boom. No look, boom. All right, so our first entree from Black Tap, we got the Texan burger. Prime patty, bacon, aged cheddar, crispy onion ring, sweet barbecue sauce. Wow, from high up. Nothing but net. With everything going on, that aged cheddar is really cutting through, man. Hey, it's all about rings, onion rings championship rings. The next burger up is the Greg Norman Burger, named after the famous legendary Australian golfer. Here we have a half pound Wagyu beef burger. You have arugula, you have a house-made buttermilk dill sauce. That is a hole in one. Between the arugula, the blue cheese, and the buttermilk dill, that was a triple combo. For dessert, we have the vegan black and white cake shake. This is just as good as your chocolate crazy shake but it's vegan. Everything is vegan from the top down, from the chocolate chips, to the chocolate syrup, to the whipped cream, to the cake. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. That tastes just as good as a regular crazy shake. If you guys are vegan, or if you guys are lactose intolerant, allergic to any sort of dairy products, this is the one for you. This is not a rookie milkshake. Straight to the pros. Moon Palace is a new spot from Chef David Chang. Located just across his other spot, Major Domo, it's a casual place to grab a bite with a compact menu of tasties, hot chips, and half dips. Guests can take their food to go or grab a seat at one of the 20 stools along a countertop with a view of the kitchen or check out the action of the palazzo. Starting off at David Chang's Moon Palace, we have the double tasty. This is gonna be a chuck beef patty on a King's Hawaiian roll American cheese sprinkled with a little bit of that special Momo Fuku savory salt. Immediately, there's the Momo Fuku savory salt. It just hits you real quick. I can actually taste how this is a part chuck and part brisket patty. Let's bring on the next one. And now we have a secret menu item. This is the Luna style double. A secret? This is like your double tasty except now packed with your special Luna sauce and pickles. Mmm. Wow. It is not your typical special sauce. They've got sriracha and even fish sauce. That's where that umami is coming from. Next up from Moon Palace, we've got the hot chips. You can either get them salted or with honey butter powder. These are the most unique chips I've ever had because some of them are kind of floppy and chewy and then the others are really crispy and they do that on purpose and I think that just makes it unique. This is like the perfect snack while watching a game. You knew David Chang wasn't gonna just do any regular chips. Let's bring on dessert. For dessert, we've got the half dip. Woo! This is a reinvented childhood classic. Oh yeah. Two fluffy molasses pancakes, marshmallow fluff inside, half dipped in chocolate. Wow. Mm. I loved biting it right on the border of the chocolate dip and the no dip side. I think this half dip really sums up Moon Palace's mission really well. They take things that you're super visually familiar with, but they take it to a whole nother place that you did not see coming. Major Domo Meat and Fish is a modern steakhouse from Chef David Chang. Built on the DNA of its sister restaurant in LA, it pulls from a diverse range of food traditions inspired by the energy of Las Vegas. A Major Domo is a person who makes arrangements or takes charge for another. In that spirit, they aim to provide a lively and engaging experience for their guests. First item at Major Domo, we are looking at the Bing and foie gras combination. That is something I've never seen before. David, you're gonna have a bed of ricotta cheese with your seasonal cranberry jam. And on top, the kicker, they got shaved foie gras snow on top. That's like a peanut butter jelly sandwich fit for a Hall of Famer. That has a world of flavors right there. Everything from tart to sweet to salty, savory. 
On to the next plate. So for our first entree from Major Domo, we got the Mafaldine. Here's the special thing about this pasta. It's got a trio of crabs. It's got Dungeness crab, blue crab, and crab miso thrown in with ginger. Oh, wow. Structurally, that's like a traditional Italian pasta, but that sole is Asian. Wow. The noodles are cooked so perfectly. They're al dente. You're an al dente kind of guy. And for our main course here at Major Domo, we have the whole plate beef short rib. Like, wow, wow. Mm. This is a Hall of Fame short rib right here. They have the short rib rice. Ooh. They've cooked that in beef fat and wasabi oil. That combined a lot of my favorite aspects of Korean barbecue in with Southern barbecue. And finally, we have rice pudding for dessert, but this is not any ordinary rice pudding, Andrew. This has been domified. You have a white chocolate, Japanese, California grown rice pudding here. You have a side of accoutrements, everything ranging from pistachios to crepe batter to blood oranges. So good. Rice pudding is such an unassuming dish, but when you get one of the monster titans of the food world, David Chang, to get his hands on it, it turns into something completely different. Want the energy of the best Las Vegas nightclubs with the feel of a local spot? You'll find all that and more at Electra Cocktail Club. Located in the heart of the Palazzo Casino, if you're eager to put your finger on the pulse of the newest Vegas nightlife, look no further. Focusing on rum drinks, tequila, and agricoles, Electra has one of the largest mezcal collections in Las Vegas. David, we're here at Electra. You know we gotta try some of their greatest cocktails here. Our first one is the Unicorn Tears. Unicorn Tears. Gin, Fino Sherry, fresh lime, pineapple, and a little bit of absinthe at the end. For me, that absinthe comes in at the end and kind of kicks you. It's a field goal. I was gonna say alley-oop because it takes you here, and then boom. Andrew, the next drink up is penicillin. The penicillin. This is Electra's playful version on Sam Ross's famous penicillin. Smoky scotch, fresh lemon, ginger, and honey. That's cold. That's a second round pick, but it really turned out to be an all-star. Our third cocktail here at Electra is the Age of Aquarius. Ooh, you got passion fruit, you got mezcal, you got Campari, you got fresh, honey scotch. Fresh lime. Smoky. That is a behind the back pass. I was thinking specifically a Pistol Pete move. Yes. Because it's kind of like a little old school. You guys, in the disgruntled Mai Tai, they've got two rums, Aperol, Fresh Lime, Curacao, Orjat, and Underberg. This Mai Tai is more disgruntled than Bobby Knight. The basketball play that comes to mind when I have the disgruntled Mai Tai is the give and go. I'm thinking of a flagrant foul. It's what you do when you're disgruntled. I gotta tell you, the diversity of offerings here under one roof is incredible. There really is a world of options. 